A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 38 There is nothing my holiness cannot do. Your holiness reverses all the laws of the world. It is beyond every restriction of time, space, distance, and limits of any kind. Your holiness is totally unlimited in its power because it establishes you as a son of God, at one with the mind of his creator. Through your holiness, the power of God is made manifest. Through your holiness, the power of God is made available. And there is nothing the power of God cannot do. Your holiness, then, can remove all pain, can end all sorrow, and can solve all problems. It can do so in connection with yourself and with anyone else. It is equal in its power to help anyone because it is equal in its power to save anyone. If you are holy, so is everything God created. You are holy because all things He created are holy, and all things He created are holy because you are. In today's exercises, we will apply the power of your holiness to all problems, difficulties, or suffering in any form that you happen to think of, in yourself or in someone else. We will make no distinctions because there are no distinctions. In the four longer practice periods, each preferably to last a full five minutes, Repeat the idea for today, close your eyes, and then search your mind for any sense of loss or unhappiness of any kind as you see it. Try to make as little distinction as possible between a situation that is difficult for you and one that is difficult for someone else. Identify the situation specifically and also the name of the person concerned. Use this form in applying the idea for today. In the situation involving blank, in which I see myself, there is nothing that my holiness cannot do. In the situation involving blank, in which blank sees himself or herself, there is nothing my holiness cannot do. From time to time, you may want to vary this procedure and add some relevant thoughts of your own. You might like, for example, to include thoughts such as, There is nothing my holiness cannot do because the power of God lies in it. Introduce whatever variations appeal to you, but keep the exercises focused on the theme, There is nothing my holiness cannot do. The purpose of today's exercises is to begin to instill in you a sense that you have dominion over all things because of what you are. In the frequent shorter applications, apply the idea in its original form unless a specific problem concerning you or someone else arises or comes to mind. In that event, use the more specific form in applying the idea to it. Now, repeat the idea to yourself. There is nothing my holiness cannot do. Now close your eyes and search your mind for any sense of loss or unhappiness of any kind as you see it. Identify the situation specifically and also the name of the person concerned, whether it's yourself or another, and apply the idea. An example might be, perhaps you are at a loss with feeling your connection to God or the Holy Spirit, or maybe a friend is, in which you might say, in the situation involving my connection to the Holy Spirit 
in which I see myself, there is nothing that my holiness cannot do. In the situation involving connecting to the Holy Spirit, in which Nathan sees himself, there is nothing my holiness cannot do, for the power of God lies in it. Take the next several minutes and apply the idea. There is nothing my holiness cannot do. Continue on for about another minute or two.
Okay. This concludes lesson 38. Remember to revisit these longer practice periods three more times today before the end of the day. Apply the idea in its original form frequently throughout the day. Unless a specific problem concerning you or someone else arises or comes to mind. In that event, use the more specific form in applying the idea to it. <laughs>